so whenever i get the time i will start uh, seeing your videos and um, make my notes for the medicine part basically i stick to the uh, md medicine exam preparation that's all uh, especially from harrison the best part uh, we have to um, from the video is actually uh, we can get the uh, whole idea of the topic by wa- watching this video rather than reading harrison without getting any idea uh, if we it will take more time for us to finish Uh, just by reading has not only you have given those clues and codes especially like the distal myopathies and all yeah, yeah. I, i think in harrison is like very much congested but when yeah. it's like story you were telling so welcome all of you i'm very happy and proud to introduce dr swati krishna uh, he is from my own college that he did his mbbs and md from uh, trivandrum medical college so welcome swati and you secured the first rank in aims congrats to you and thank you sir thank you very much sir uh first rank in aims as well as a common merit list and he got a very good rank in neat also so uh, welcome swadi and uh, actually given an introduction to you and uh, you can introduce to other others here because i know you very well can you just introduce yourself sir uh, sir myself swadi krishnan i am coming from uh, tiruvanthapuram district in uh, kerala state and i did my mbbs as well as md general medicine from government medical college tiruvanthapuram and also completed the senior residency from the same college itself yeah and uh, i know that you were doing the senior residency last year and yes, uh, sir. how was your preparation along with senior residency because especially in the covid times i know that it was very hectic in trivandrum during the covid times your yes, duties sir. were really frequent and uh, you were continuously posted in casualty as well as in covid so how we did you prepare during that time yes, sir actually uh, that was the uh, time where maro helped me the most and basically i was oriented towards entrance after completing my md examination and i subscribed this maro video course by by that time and i started seeing your classes whenever i get the time because since we are having this duties and all and then we cannot have a fixed time schedule to attend the class so whenever i get the time i will start seeing your videos and make my notes so that's the main thing which have pushed me towards this end actually especially this uh, helped me uh, in the previous uh, ims as well as the neat even though i didn't get a good rank i was able to qualify in that session so uh, sorry you we told that you had watched the videos of maro so uh, what about the medicine part also you prepared from maro or you prepared from the harrison as well sir so actually i i didn't get time to watch other uh, subjects uh, other than neurology from maro uh, because of the time constraints i i tried to uh, view all those videos from a neurology part and few videos from cardiology session also i have heard in uh, in the maro and the rest other preparation was uh, uh, for the medicine part basically i stick to the uh, md medicine exam preparation that's all uh, especially from harrison harrison yeah and why you like you were you were you were interested towards neuro basically so that is why you didn't uh, go to any other subject so what was the thing that made you to like neuro specifically what made you choose neuro when you finished your uh, residency and uh, like your course and all actually um, from the mbbs time itself we are getting that much insight for a neurology from our uh, college as well because so many faculties are there uh, who are specialists in neurology they have inspired us and also i am having this uh, like uh, step by step analysis and getting to the diagnosis that part is very much interesting so that's why i am more towards neurology Uh, actually, I am uh, very much interested towards general medicine and neuro as well. Yeah, even I was like very much interested in general medicine. Like, neuro is one speciality which is more clinical. Even now, the clinical aspect is very important in neurology. In other subjects, has uh, changed to more of technical, scientific things and investigation based. But neuro still is the main thing is the clinical. Then only you can yes. go forward towards uh, investigation, approach, and everything. That is the thing which which made me uh, like neuro more. Exactly. And, exactly. Yeah, and uh, uh, did you able to watch all the videos, or you were watching selected videos? At least, uh, how many percentage did you have watched? Uh, so actually, initially for the first INSS, I was able to complete about sixty percent of the videos only. Then I uh, the exam came by that time. Then after that, I finished the rest of the videos before NEET. That by the time of NEET, I was able to finish almost ninety to ninety five percent of the neurology videos. In that. and while while viewing the videos you are creating your own notes and uh, preparing right yes sir uh, i was actually writing down uh, what we were writing i was copying and creating yeah. the notes 
actually mm-hmm. you know, like when uh, even though there is mara notes are coming up what i always prefer is when you we ourselves write the notes that is the best way to learn otherwise you, it is very easy to revise your own notes it's very yes, difficult sir. to revise actually, some others notes yes yes sir uh, uh, by the time of neat I, i was not able to revise i was just able to finish writing my notes only i just quickly gone through it about just one or two days prior to the neat so that's why i was not that is confident regarding that but uh, the rest the last two months uh, while preparing for iss i was able to revise properly the notes yeah and, uh, uh, and how did you revise at the end like during that you told that after need you were able to revise in two months so how did you plan your revision because you might be doing your senior residency at that time also right or you have finished uh, uh, but last one month i we i was able to uh, senior residency were over by that time so yeah. I, i was able to put more time on that part and uh, the notes i actually uh, what i did was uh, so, sorry you told in the previous like orientation sessions and on like you have to make charts for genes charts for that uh, chromosome yeah. like that that part i have only done when you told in that orientation video that was actually helpful for the final round revision and certain concept oriented part uh, which i am sure that but i skipped the other one which we tend to forget i focus on that yeah that is what especially in neurology there is lot of genes lot of terms lot of signs without revising that if you ask me right now whatever things i have discussed in the videos it may be difficult for me to remember some of the signs and some of the most of the genes because that is not yes. that is not that easy unless you revise every day and at least prior to the exam and uh, how was the videos in totality you felt how it was helpful any change we need to make like that anything you have any suggestions sir actually the, the best part uh, we have to um, from the video is actually uh, we can get the uh, whole idea of the topic by wa- watching this video rather than reading harrison without getting any idea uh, if we it will take more time for us to finish uh, just by reading harrison alone but uh, if we hear the class and read the notes then it will be easy to just quickly go through has and especially the tables and all this will help us to reduce the time for that purpose uh, that's actually yeah. actually i was telling in some of the preparatory videos or some review videos like many of the like ex- example for muscle disease i taken a long a lot of lot of sessions are there but all those things are there in the harris and in one or two tables but if you go through the tables alone you won't understand anything once you understand the concept yes. then go through the tables it is easy because all the inflammatory or most of the congenital things are there in harris and some tables they are given here and there they are given it so if some questions from that area comes you cannot tell that it is outside harris it is inside harris only but harris is like a crisp yes, note uh, yeah without understanding yes, especially you have you have given those clues and codes especially like the distal myopathies and all yeah, yeah. I, i think in harris it's like very much congested but when yeah. it's like story you were telling like telling in the well and climbing up from the well and it's well and so it's things like that is very helpful uh, that thing i still remember like uh, actually it is not my creation my bashmate actually yeah. we were doing campaign study during exam he created that thing i uh, studied that and i was just put forward the same thing into the maro video uh, that is very helpful sir like yeah. certain uh, voice modulation you were doing to remember like marcus perkgis arithmia and yeah, yeah. things like that is very much actually the way i remember during my dm exam uh, studying that is a way i i actually try to learn because it is otherwise difficult to remember because when somebody comes and asks suddenly you cannot remember all those stuffs and uh, yes, sir. Uh, from the mcq point also that must that is very helpful actually the most important mcq regarding that topic you have actually uh, this code will help us to remember Yeah. and uh, among the entire uh, videos any uh, specific area or specific uh, like topics uh, you felt it is interesting to you rather than the topics and if, if it was there what is the reason with personal interest or because something you felt in that i and i think actually uh, almost all videos you have covered very well and especially the dementia modules and all and uh, the motor neuron disease sma part etc i like to think and uh, uh, what about the and updates my... also we have uh, sir in your videos are there almost latest updates there also there regarding the newer drugs and all yeah i was actually like many new drugs has come up actually i i mean the last exam we have put forward in that in neurology part we are trying to put i was trying to put the newer drugs which came in last year after shooting the videos i had put some of the questions regarding that drugs also in the ini mock exam 
Uh, and uh, how was again the exam pattern you felt this time? How how did you felt it? Like I mean, stage one. Stage one, uh, sir. Comparing the previous INSS, I felt this uh, exam was much uh, a bit on the easier side. Comparing the previous INSS, yeah, yeah. Uh, in the previous part, there were they asked uh, like more questions uh, with respect to genes and all they asked. And this time, it was much more simple type and straightforward. Yeah, and uh, I also felt like like last time there were a lot of questions came from stroke. This time, another questions uh -huh. came from stroke were much less. Usually, in almost yes. all exams, stroke is one area where a lot of questions come. And uh, one more thing, I mean, maybe one more thing, you might felt it is more because uh, you might have covered better for this INSS rather than last time. So you were preparing mm -hmm. for like some time. So it will be easier when you revise that. Uh, uh, that also may be a factor, like when you write the exam. Whenever you are yes, able to revise and write an exam, yeah, maybe maybe because the, uh, yeah, the no mock exams were also much tougher than the original exam. This also helped. Yeah, actually, mock exam uh, questions, I wanted to put many new things because I was thinking like they may put some one of the new things because there are some updates came in 2021 and 22, which were not discussed in our oh. session. So I want to include those things in our mock exam. So uh, I just want to give at least one point about uh, those areas like mm -hmm. some like FKT mode I have put in from my senior. All those things has come up in the last mm -hmm. one year. And... Uh, uh, what are the preparation for stage two? Actually, uh, I took a class for stage two, but at that time also I was oh. telling. Uh, last time also stage two, they were asking very random questions. Nobody can Thanks. expect what question they will ask. And you were telling me, can you just tell how was the stage two for you personally? Stage two, actually, sir, um, only one question was asked for me. Uh, yeah. That question, uh, fundus image was shown and asked to what is the uh, like a transient monocular vision loss? What are the conditions and uh, questions are like uh, not with respect to that. Uh, sir asked like, uh, what are the steps in which you uh, examine the fundus? What are the heading center which you discuss? Like that, uh, diverted and asked uh, some related questions. Yeah, actually, in uh, most of the uh, in, uh, institute exams in interviews previously also, they were more like they were not interested in whether you are answering the question. They just want mm -hmm. whether your approaches were correct. Last time, yes, in, yes. but actually, previously it was much easy to prepare for stage two because it will be mm -hmm. like uh, direct to direct. So it will be some case space you can expect. But in online, they can ask anything under the sun. They can ask mm -hmm. any question mm -hmm. anywhere to anyone. Very random question. Actually, in fact, what I felt is you cannot prepare for a, a stage two per, mm -hmm. perfectly. You just if you if you prepare as a whole for the entire exam, it will be beneficial to you in the, the stage two also. Mm -hmm. It is more like approaches and everything like previously also, mm -hmm. but this time. And last time, because of online pattern, I felt like it is difficult to prepare specifically for stage two. If you clear okay. stage one with confidence, you can do well in stage two. That is what I felt in the last two years. Yes, sir. Right. Yes, sir. And uh, what about the need? Like you crack the need also. So the next need is time exam is coming soon, mm -hmm. and that is a new pattern. So what yes. uh, what will we tell? Like what to read now and how to revise towards the end? Any any anything like. Some some people may be beneficial way of revision. Or that like need that. pattern change, I'm uh, not sure about that because uh, reading all of the medicine, I think it's a difficult task. That's why I focus more on your yet. <laughs> Try to finish this endless thing by now itself. So, and the previous need exam, actually, it was uh, much tougher than these two INSS yeah. examinations. Yeah, it was very uh, you know that, sir. Yes. Mm -hmm. And the questions were like long stem questions and more kinds of ways. Uh, we have to think two step and three step questions when they asked. But this yeah. time means they were uh, uh, in this year INASS exam. The questions were simple, but the options were confusing. Things uh, they put it like that. Some minor uh, words they exchange in the options, and we may mistake it and mark wrong. Yeah. And what about the preparation for those who are going for IN? I mean, need assess next. Uh, need to assess whether you have any, any anything to suggest to revise what and where to and how to some suggestions you have to your juniors who are going juniors or colleagues who are going to write for the next uh, need to assess. I think sir, better to stick on to Harrison because considering all of the medicine part, they are not going to ask. Them. I don't know. I am by, by sure. I feel like they may ask only the important topics from Harrison so better to cover the medicine part which we Usually the MDX, MDX and exit level syllabus, we have to be much thorough with it. Actually, I also have the same, like, uh, felt like the same. But there is one one thing is that they are told that uh, MD exit mm -hmm. level exam, they have not mentioned it is like MD exit level is a vague term, actually. In fact, 
ിയും <laughs> uh take neuro or any subject whether you have planned for that uh actually sir during the first and second years i i was focusing on the war work only especially yeah. when the covid wave came and we were like getting post year in quarantine at that time actually i was started reading harrison i think maro was uh, not live by that time so yeah. i was just reading harrison and then after completing the exam i subscribed to maro and started seeing the videos Yeah, so for for uh, the uh, sorry, uh, getting the answer getting the idea of an entrance only by the end of my final year only yeah end of your final year and mm-hmm. by that time you were preparing for your md exams right yeah, and you were yes, not sir. specifically preparing for uh, super specialty at that time yes yes yeah that is what i also want to tell that when you are studying in your 3 uh, years you have to study md medicine properly and along with that you if you want to prepare you can prepare but don't leave your md medicine and prepare for a super specialty because md medicine is your whatever specialty i actually has been telling this in all the videos which i had taken this one like md medicine with uh, without md medicine you cannot be a super specialist md medicine is your base uh, so you yes, have sir, to actually be... this year ielss exam uh, the i think the determining rank determining questions may be from the medicine part only because neurology yeah. part was that much if somebody is preparing for neurology they can attempt it was yeah, yeah. questions were of that for this session not the previous one yeah. and actually this time actually questions were more direct uh, as you told like it was like some mm-hmm. change in the option some confusing option other than the questions were very direct questions mm-hmm. not much tricky questions were not there and uh, uh, what is uh, your future plans where are you planning to uh, go forward mm-hmm. I think I like to join Sri Chitra sir. If I get there, yeah, Sri Chitra intervention. Yeah, yes. going back to your hometown. <laughs> yes, sir. And the best, one of the best institute. Actually, a really nice choice. Uh, I would say because Sri Chitra is really nice because we, I also being in Trivandrum. You know, like we always in Trivandrum. Yes, Actually, Sri Chitra is very nice institute to uh, mm-hmm. learn one of the one of the best place to learn neurology. And. Uh, uh what is any plans for other further specialization whether you have any idea like because you started like uh, yeah i i i don't have any idea sir uh, <laughs> maybe after getting into the neurology actually mm-hmm. when uh, if you if you go to an institute i think uh, you will get a better idea like uh, there are two group like even i was i i did my uh, dm not from an institute it's from trivandrum medical college so yes, when yes. you go to institute there will be separate specialty clinics will be there then that is advantage of doing in ini uh, rather than a need when you get exposed to specialty clinics like you have a parkinson's clinic in citra pd clinic is very good epilepsy clinic is there everything is very good so you go to separate clinic you will get exposed to those sub specialties and then you will make it a chance to select also into a higher specialty the second advantage of ini mm-hmm. ss is when you go for a uh, post doctor fellowship after completing your uh, dm mm-hmm. you will definitely get a preference when you apply for a pdf in aims or in chitra or nimhans like nimhans doesn't have an interview any places you have an interview when you apply you will definitely have a advantage over others like they will sir consider you much better when you then they are considering other person because i personally have many experience with that so uh, uh, thank you sathi for uh, uh, giving us time to talk and have a nice chat with you and all the best for you for the future and i am very happy and proud to tell that you got rank 1 in aims as well as in uh, common merit list thank, thank you thank you very much sir thank you very much